And now, it's time for a modeling Sodor. Ready. Hi guys, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to this awesome channel. Be sure to check out the channel in the link below. Alright, let's take a look at my custom Trackmaster Paxton. Now the first thing that you'll notice is that I gave him side rods. And I'll be honest, I love doing this feature to the diesels. It just it looks so much better. I also used um, some black paint to go back over the edges where I trimmed where the plastic was still showing. On the front, I painted his coupling hook black here. Adds a little bit more life to the model. And then on the other side, you'll see that front part that I painted black here. It's a little bit better than the green they originally had. Here's the other side, which is basically the same. And then on the back of the model, I even painted the buffer beam orange, just like it is on the actual model. Finally, here's the bottom of the locomotive. You'll see that the side rods bear look at side rods there, and where I painted the top of that uh, bottom piece black. That way it just blends in a little bit better. All in all, I'm very happy with how this model came out, and he looks great when he's running on the layout. Um, you know, these are just small, small things that I did to this engine, but it makes an, you know, a really good Trackmaster model even better. To be honest, this Paxton was probably one of the best models in the Trackmaster 2 range, but with these just small updates, in my opinion, it's just made it 10 times better. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this small look at my custom Trackmaster Paxton. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and let me know which custom I should try next. And I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye for now.